exercise gives you endorphins. Endorphins make you happy. Happy people just don't shoot their husbands. They just don't. So let's get some Friday endorphins, shall we? Starting the warm-up, you're going to need a PVC pipe, which can be substituted with a broomstick, a Swiffer mop, you know, any of those long, light things. Yeah. And you're going to do the warm-up in sets of 15 through the list first, then 10 through the list, then 5 through the list. So the moves on that list are PVC good morning, so you're going to put it on your back, keep everything nice and tight, send those hips back, and stretch out those hamstrings. Kind of load them up a little bit too, slight bend of the leg. Then we're going to go through PVC scap push-ups. So for this, you're going to lay on the ground. You want to lay your shoulders and rest them on the ground. You're holding about bench press uh, width apart, and then you're going to push the PVC pipe up with nothing but your shoulders. So I'm pushing up and then relaxing my shoulders. Next is 15 alternating plank toe taps. So you're going to be holding this plank here, and then in order to touch your toe, you're going to let go of one hand and reach with the other. Like that. Then you're going to go into 15 box step ups. Then go back through that list doing 10 of each, then go back through the list doing 5 of each. Then you're done with the warm up. Starting with the mobilization, we're going to do the leg crossover stretch. So you're just going to lay back on the ground. And then you want to just grab your knee on one side, make sure you're looking over at your opposite arm, and then cross that leg over. You should be feeling a nice big booty stretch right there. We're just going to hold that for a second, and then we're actually going to switch to the other side and hold for a second. And we'll just keep switching back and forth. So you're going to need a weight of some kind. You're going to put the bottoms of your shoes together and then set that weight kind of on your calf and your thigh right at the tip of your knee. And then you're just going to lay back and let it stretch you out. You can even put your hand on the edge of your thigh here and just relax and let it stretch. So good. Ribbit, ribbits. We've got a spicy Friday workout for you. It is 28 minutes long in four minute segments. During those four minute segments, you are going to accomplish seven deadlifts, 17 push ups seven toes to bar, and in the remaining time you have in the, the four minute segment, you're gonna complete max number of burpee box jumps. So let's say it takes you three minutes to complete all that other stuff, the deadlifts, the push-ups, and the toes to bar, you will have 60 seconds to complete max number of burpee box jumps. Goal being to try to squeeze in at least five to 10 burpee box jumps, maybe a little more in every single one of those rounds. For deadlifts, you're gonna hold your dumbbells at the end of them like this. You wanna keep your shins back nice and far, and you're just gonna go down and touch them to the ground, keeping those shoulders back. If you prefer, you can always hold them like a barbell like this and do it that way. You just wanna make sure you get low enough to mid shin to really feel it in your hamstrings. And then of course, if you have a barbell, feel free to use it. Um, normal 235, 155 RX if you can. Push-up standards are per usual. I want you to try to stay on your toes as long as you possibly can. Just because if you go on your knees and you go super fast, then you're going to have way too much time to do burpee box jumps. So let's try to stay on those toes, touch that chest to the floor, and then come right back up, moving as one unit. If you need to go to your knees, just make sure that your hips still don't touch the ground, but you're not sticking that butt up in the air like this scaling options. We have so many things that you can do. So I'm going to go over each of them and I want you to try each one and see which one is the hardest for you. And you really want to pick that one because toast to bar should be challenging. So you want to pick the one that's kind of like, wow, this is hard. So here they are. All right, first one might be a new one for you. So you can set up an object that's kind of tall and you're just gonna set it on the floor. Hopefully it's uh, not as precarious as mine. And then you want to sit so that your ankles are right next to it. And then you're going to lift your legs like that. And every time you get it back over to the other side, that would be one. Um, if you have something too short, just try to make sure it's about a foot off the ground. Otherwise, this isn't as challenging. 
and you can put your hands on the ground, you just want to make sure you're kind of staying upright. Because if I lean back, this makes it a lot easier to do. But I'm trying to close this angle from here to here. And if I lean back, I'm keeping that angle really open. So I'm really trying to kind of crunch up as I do it. So that's option number one. Option number two would be to set those dumbbells that you're using for the deadlifts over your head. Straighten out those arms as much as you can as if you're hanging from a bar. Then you're going to lengthen those legs out and then curl them up and kick that dumbbell as if you're doing a toad bar. You can also do this on a wall. So if I move that dumbbell out of the way, lean down right here, I just put my arms up against the wall and then go up to touch the wall. Like that. Alright, if you've got an ab mat, you could also use this. So just a normal ab mat setup, except for I'm going to put my legs out straight instead of pointing them out in a butterfly. Then I'm going to lean back and then reach for my toes. So I'm reaching all the way up as if I'm straightening out and then reaching all the way for my toes. So there should be a big reach overhead and a big reach for your toes every single time. That's also a good option. All right, that final move at the end of each of the four minute segments are those burpee box jumps. So you wanna make sure you have a really secure surface to be able to jump on top of. If you don't have that, step ups are perfectly acceptable but they look exactly the same burpee-wise. So I would go down on the ground in front of the box or object and jump. And then if I wanted to just step up, ooh, I almost jumped. <laughs> you know we finally here, right? Well, we... It's Friday then, it's Saturday, Sunday, what? It's Friday then, it's Saturday, Sunday, what?